Okay, so today we've got a really cool lick in the key of E minor. It uses legato and hybrid picking. You could also consider this to be in the key of G major because G major and E minor share the same notes. Um, it's the relative major and minor. Let's talk a little bit about hybrid picking before we get into the lick. So the way that I'm doing it is I'll be doing a downstroke on the low E string. And then with my middle finger, I'm going to be plucking the uh, A string. So when I'm going through this uh, legato, so I'm going to be going down and then with my upstroke is actually going to be my middle finger instead of my plectrum. So it would sound like this if we just do three, five, seven on both strings. And if you're not used to that, I'll practice that. So we're just going three, five, seven on the E string, three, five, seven on the uh, A string. So you're gonna go down stroke, then pluck with your middle finger. That's basically hybrid picking where you're replacing your upstrokes with your middle finger. I highly recommend you get this technique under your fingers it uh, makes life so much easier when you can't be bothered to do those upstrokes. Us guitarists are lazy, we like to work out all the different techniques that uh, allow us to get faster without any effort whatsoever and this is one of those techniques you need to get under your fingers. So this is a great lick for that. Essentially all we're doing with this lick is ascending through the three note per string shapes. I kind of look at it as G major actually when I'm thinking about it. So I'm starting on the sixth shape of the three note per strings, which would be um, Aeolian or natural minor in terms of modes. Uh, then I'm ascending up and I reach actual shape seven. That would be the locrium mode is where I start ascending across all six strings. So this is what it'd sound like super slow. So strange playing it slow after you've learned it so fast. Rhythmically what's going on with this lick is it starts out with 16th note triplets so that's just all straight so one E and a two E and a uh, then it goes to 16th note triplets so triplet 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 it would be one E and a two E and a for the start one E and a, two E and a, triple a, triple a, triple a, triple a. And obviously when it's faster. <laughs> As with anything that you're learning, don't rush to play it fast. Make sure you slow down your metronome and learn this lick properly. Um, you want to get the technique right. You want to get the fingering right. If you get the fingering wrong, as I mentioned earlier, you will slow yourself right down and you'll get into bad habits. Okay, so enough chat, let's get down to the lick. So we're gonna be using legato, so you're only gonna be doing one downstroke on the low E string, and then you're gonna be using your left hand to do the rest of the work. So downstroke on the low E, then hammer on to the second fret with your first finger, then the third fret with your second, then your fourth finger onto the fifth. And that's gonna be one E and uh. And then you're gonna pluck the A string next, with your middle finger and do exactly the same shape. So zero, two, three, five. And then using your first, second, and fourth finger. So the first lip we got this, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So I recommend looping that just to get used to that pattern. You can add some palm muting in there, which I did on the track.
Then we're moving on to the third fret with our first finger and we're going to pluck that with our plectrum, so one downstroke. Then hammer on to the fifth fret with our second finger. Then hammer on to seventh fret with our third finger, oh sorry, fourth finger. And then we can do the same on the uh, A string, but we're going to be plucking that with our middle finger. So all together that would be... And that's going to be triplet, so triplet, triplet. All together. Okay, next up you want to play the fifth fret, then hammer on with your second finger on the seventh, then to the eighth with your third, and that's that one, then onto the A string, pluck on the fifth fret, hammer on second finger seventh, and then uh, ninth with your little finger. All together, one and a two and a triple, a triple. Pay close attention to this finger in here. I've been using this finger in for a while, but it means you've got a lot more movement from your pinky moving over here. So make sure you use your first, second, third fingers on the low E for that one. All together. Then play a downstroke on the seventh fret. Hammer on to the eighth fret with your second finger, then 10th for your pinky. Then on the next string, pluck, middle finger, on the seventh fret, hammer on to the ninth and tenth, so your third and fourth finger, and it would sound like this. So it's the opposite way around for this one. This is a tricky one if you're not used to getting your fingers to work independently. Spend some time practicing that like all the other ones. Loop it. And make sure you go descending as well because it's all well and good that you practice this but if you can't go backwards which i don't seem to be that good at then you're screwed okay so all together then you want to play the eighth fret with your first finger down stroke hammer onto the tenth hammer onto the twelfth and that's your one two four one, two, four, first, second, and four fingers. Then you want to play the ninth fret. Make sure you pluck with your middle finger, with your first finger, then hammer on to tenth, hammer on to twelfth. So that's a bit of a different shape. They're not uh, exactly the same, so not symmetrical. Make sure you play close attention to that fingering. And all together. And then to the 10th fret, we're going to do a downstroke, hammer on to the 12th, hammer on to the 14th. And that's one, two, and four. And exactly the same shape on the A string, 10, 12, 14, using your first, second, and fourth finger. So that's familiar, same as down here. All together. Next up, we're going to play in the 12th fret, down stroke, and then hammer on to the 14th for your third finger, then 15th with your pinky. Exactly the same shape on the next string, pluck, down stroke, pluck. Okay. Okay, now is for the really cool ascending lick. So this is ascending through Locrian, technically, which is the seventh shape, uh, three note per string shape in G major. So we're going to be going 14, first finger, hammer on to 15, then 17 on the low E. Exactly the same shape on the A, but pluck. So... And then what I do on the D string, I don't know if this is correct technically, but I'll do a downstroke here. Then we're playing the 14th, hammer on to 16, hammer on to 17, so 1, 3, 4. Then repeat that same pattern, but do a pluck again. So we're doing down, pluck, down, pluck. 
And the last one is on the 15th fret with your first finger. Downstroke, hammer on to 17, hammer on to 19. And exactly the same on the high E. So the B. So we're going to do a downstroke and then a pluck. All together. Pluck, down, pluck, down, pluck. Okay, so last of all, we're going to be bending the 17th fret up to the 19th. So when I say that, I mean it's bending up two frets. So it should sound like the 19th fret when you hit that note at the end. And then release, and then play uh, the 15th fret. And then 17 on the B string, twice. And then do this bend, which is up uh, three frets, so. And then release that back to its original note. So bend and release. <laughs> and then we're going to be doing this uh, dive bomb. So just play the low E. Then you're going to catch the second fret on the D string. And then bring it back up the whammy bar. So. And of course you can add in your palm muting like I did. That is quite a cool effect. But that is Golden Licks episode one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment of what kind of technique you want me to do for episode two. Make sure you share this video. Check out my website for the tabs and you can get my exact fingering on there if this video was too much work to keep up with uh, the lesson. I know that I like to just find out the vital information straight away. If you look on the tabs, you should see where you'll do a downstroke, where you should do a pluck, and that will be a letter M. And you should see the numbers one, two, three, and four, and that refers to your left fretting hand and which ones to use for each of the notes. But that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys soon. Take care. Oh, I feel it now. I can't make you smile.